So Ames, House of Monarch project number two here in Doncaster. Couple of projects here. One of them is the guy's an artist, loves painting, but currently his garage is a mess. Not a lot of storage room. So what we want to do is give him that artist look and some storage solutions. Yeah, and upstairs in the sitting area, we're going to revamp it and just bring a bit of life into it. Can't wait to have a look. Fast, I think we really need to declutter this garage. I'm thinking we can put the storage solutions on that wall. Yep. What I want to do here, because we want to create this artist vibe, I'm going to do these two walls in a sort of darkish grey special effects product. Yeah, awesome. And I'm going to put an artist station in the middle and then also to bring his artwork to life, put some feature lighting on the ceilings. That will be sensational. Fuzz, this colour is going to look so good once we put the paintings on. They're going to pop so much. I know, I'm excited. And this is part of the specialty range from Hames called Artisan. And it's two coats. The, the second coat's going to be a crisscross special effect, but this is the all-important base coat. You just roll it on like normal paint. And it's got such good coverage as well. So Ames, I reckon we paint these hinges in. That way you're not even going to notice. You put your new shelving on rather than the white. What do you think? We've already painted one in, so I guess we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> So fast, it's time for the special effects top coat. Correct, and it's all about crisscross pattern with our pure bristle brushes. I'm gonna tackle this wall, you can do that one, and if we get this right aim, these walls are gonna really pop. Let's do it. This is so easy. You literally just crisscross all over the place. Yeah, and the, uh, the hog bristle brush sort of gives it a bit of texture, doesn't it? Yeah, it's coming up good. And then it'll sort of dry as well and give a bit more definition of colour. Yeah. It's like paint with sand in it, isn't it? It's exactly that. So as you do that wrist action, it gives you that texture finish. Right, I nearly dropped paint on your head. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> this is how you can pay people back that you don't like. I'll do the top, you get down the bottom. No worries. It's raining, what's going on? <laughs> I gotta tell you though, you must be so happy with this transition. This is gonna make your artwork styling, huh? Oh, it's gonna look so good. It's just gonna make everything just stand out. It's gonna look great. You know what though? I've always looked up to you. <laughs> Nothing? Hey, Pross, how good is this storage system, mate? Yeah, Mark, it's fantastic, isn't it? The, it's just so easy to use, so easy to set up. Some of the, the, the great things about it is that you can have drawers, open shelves, or use container boxes. You know, in terms of garage storage, there's garage storage and there's innovative, quality, neat systems. As far as I'm concerned, this is the pinnacle. I'll just grab the brushes first to finish it off. That's not a brush. This <laughs> is a brush. <laughs> Fuss, how good are these in a box heavy duty storage containers? Perfect to store art supplies. Speaking of art supplies, how good is this artist studio we've created? I know, it's turned out amazing. I had so much fun with this one. Just the special effects paint, it just made the paintings all pop amazingly. And the lighting, absolute must to have that. What a transition. Even just putting this table here, putting art supplies, the owners are gonna love it. They're not the only ones love, I love it. I'm not gonna paint houses anymore. For me now, it's all about painting portraits and landscapes. This one's nearly finished, and you know what? It's a lemon arc. 